Welcome friends in my channel in another video about medicinal plants. Today I talking about the most trending and popular medicinal plants the aloe vera. So without any waste of the time let's start the video. Aloe vera has marvelous properties. It is one of the best and most powerful and well known medicinal plant throughout the world. It has been used for more than 5000 years. It is commonly known as aloe vera which is also its scientific name. The aloe genus is belonging to Asphodelaceae family. So shortly talk about its morphological characteristics. The aloe vera is a very short stemmed perennial herb growing about 60 to 100 centimeter tall. The leaves are thick and fleshy and green in color. The margin of the leaves is serrated and has small white spikes. The yellow tubular flowers are produced on a spike type of inflorescence in summer. The triangular fleshy leaves has the fresh parenchymal sticky gel. Aloe vera have many other synonyms like aloe barbarensis miller, aloe vulgaris lamb, aloe indica royally, etc. The sticky latex liquid is derived from the yellowish green pericyclic tubules that line the leaf. This is the main part that yield laxative anthraquinones. These plants are indigenous to South America and South Africa but now cultivated worldwide except in tundra, deserts and rainforests. It takes approximately 4 years to reach maturity and has a lifespan of about 12 years. These are some the simple general knowledge that you know about these plants but it is not the main focus of today's video. The main focus is to know about why the plant is so important as medicinally and its chemical constituents and uh, the chemicals properties. So now enter in this topic. So here mainly two parts of aloe vera is medicinally so important. One is the leaf gel and another is the leaf latex. The leaf gel contains many chemical compounds mainly the polysaccharides such as glucomannan and acimanan and some others like carboxypeptides, magnesium, zinc, calcium, glucose, cholesterol, salicylic acid, prostaglandin, gamma linolenic acid, vitamins A, C and E, lignins, uh, amino acids, saponins, plant sterols etc. Whereas the leaf latex contain mainly the anthraquinone glycosides such as aloin, aloimodin and barbaloin. These are the uh, principal chemical compounds that found in aloe vera. If you need, uh, you can screenshot it. I also provide the properties of these chemicals. You can read this carefully for your knowledge. The gel is mucilage obtained from the flesh of the leaf contains quite different compounds from the bitter latex extracted from the leaf lining. Aloe gel is 99% water with a pH of 4.5. The gel contains an emollient polysaccharide glucomannan. It is a good moisturizer which accounts for its use in many cosmetics. Asimanon, another major carbohydrate found in the gel, is a water-soluble long-chain mannose polymer which accelerates wound healing and modulates immune function. The gel also contains bradykinase, an anti-inflammatory, magnesium lactate, which helps prevent itching and the salicylic acid and other antiprostaglandin compounds which relieve the inflammations. On the other hand, the leaf latex, which is yellowish in color, contains anthraquinones glycosides that are potent stimulant laxatives. These water-soluble glycosides are split by intestinal bacteria into aglycons, which affect the laxative action. Aloe vera juice is marketed to support the health of the digestive system, but there is neither strong scientific evidence nor regulatory approval to support this claim. 
The alloying laxative products in the United States until 2002 when the Food and Drug Administration banded it because the companies manufacturing it failed to provide the necessary safety data. The aloe vera compounds has many biological activities such as anti-cancer and anti-tumor activity, anti-inflammatory, screen protection and radiation protection, anti-diabetic, antibacterial, antiviral and antiseptic and wound healing properties and including many many other properties of the gel of aloe vera and the latex of aloe vera. Various researches reported that the effective components <laughs> For the wound healing may be tannic acid and glucomannan, a mannose rich polysaccharide and the chibberellin, a growth hormone. These components is very significant to increase the collagen synthesis. Allogen not only increased the collagen content of the wound but also changed the collagen composition and increased the degree of collagen cross linkage. The compound asimanan of aloe gel increased the number of white blood cells and improved the system. Aloe gel also increased the phagocytosis in asthmatic adults. On the other hand, the alprogen inhibit calcium influx into mast cells, inhibiting the antigen antibody mediated release of histamine and leukotriene from mast cell. Thus, these compounds has a great role in immune system. Some other properties are presented in this picture. If you want, please screenshot these pictures for knowing the properties of aloe vera. So that's it. This is the whole properties and chemical compounds of aloe vera gel and aloe vera latex. Those people who want to pot it these plants in their homes as a ornamental plants, Please remind these instructions. First of all, these species requires well drained sandy potting soil and bright sunny conditions. Aloe plants can burn under too much sun or swivel when the pot does not drain water. Terracotta pots are preferable as they are porous. So remind these conditions if you want to pot this plant in your home. Many cosmetics containing aloe vera juice or their derivatives products such as makeup, moisturizer, soaps, sunscreens are available in the market. So that's it. If you think it is somewhat knowledgeable to you, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. And obviously don't forget to press the bell icon for new updates of my channel. Please comment on the comment box for the suggestion of another medicinal plants for my next video and please share the video with your friends. So stay happy, be healthy, bye.